It's Saturday, April 21st. Welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. Hope you enjoyed that intro. That's from the new Sanctuary International Matrix. And uh, we're excited to launch it in the next few weeks with a lot of different podcasts, some things I know you're really going to enjoy. And we'll talk a little bit more about it as the days roll on. Today, I wanted to promote one of those podcasts to you. Here it is. I know you're probably thinking you're seeing double. We have Pastor Bob and Pastor Bob. And I just wanted to promote his podcast that we're just hooking up with on the Sanctuary International Matrix. And uh, Bob, tell us a little bit about it. Well, we're sharing a studio. So uh, yeah, the, this is cool. um, the podcast is going to be called That's Not My God, which is a ministry we already have of That's Not My God. And it's current conversation on Facebook. And it is a arena, an arena for discussion on all things Christianity, um, discussing things about the church, the institutional church, um, what church should be. Really nothing's too sacred to talk about. And you're really clearing up some, some misconceptions too, aren't you? We're trying. Yeah, things that people believe. Actually, things that are taught many times from the pulpit that aren't exactly true. Right, yeah. Some of the things that we've been really diving into lately is just how... You know, people, we oftentimes will say that we're New Testament people, but yet yeah. we go back to the Old Testament law and, you know, just mm. just a lot of things that we talk about that really ought to have clarification in Christianity. Well, Bob, we soon have a new network uh, website coming that'll be called uh, SanctuaryInternationalMatrix.com. That's right. Not up quite yet, but it's about to be. But for right now, they can go directly to the podcast. Tell them about that. Yeah, if you want to go to the podcast um, and our also videos, you can just go to that's not my God dot com, uh, or on the face on Facebook, it's facebook dot com forward slash that's not my God. And I hope you'll go there, folks. Really, a great podcast, and I know you'll really benefit from it. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. Well, Ellen from Facebook says, "Why are so many Christians so focused on issues such as homosexuality?" From both sides of the debate, it becomes all about the issue and Christ, and the gospel as a whole gets swept to one side. How can we stop our lives being so focused on the waves around us and start focusing on Jesus? We need to stop the issues from becoming weapons of mass distraction. I like that. Thanks, Ellen. Well, it is true that our focus gets off so easily and something inside of us gets kind of stirred up and we enter the debate. And, you know, there's nothing really wrong with that. I think it's really healthy to have opinions, to believe in what you believe in and to share those beliefs with others. It isn't either or, it's either and. You know, we do get so focused on some things that we forget the balance in that focus. And if you're fighting for a cause, keep fighting. That's great. One of the greatest things about our Christian faith is the diversity that we share. And instead of being afraid of it and cursing it, we ought to celebrate diversity. It's the thing really and ultimately that keeps us balanced. But we should never forget the most important part of our faith. The most important part of that diversity is what we have in common. And that's Jesus Christ. Whenever we allow the diversity to divide us to the degree that we don't share our faith together actively, that we don't, we couldn't be in the same room with each other praying and celebrating our faith, then we have a problem. And that really is, Ellen, I think what you're talking about. That's when the diversity becomes a problem. Folks, I'm not going to even talk about the issues. I'm going to talk about the end result, and this is it. If the issues, like homosexuality, whatever it might be, forces you to break ties with your Christian brothers and sisters, then you're out of balance. If you can fight hard for the issues and still agree to disagree, that's really what you want to go towards. That's really the balance. That's the healthy part of it. 
And it is time that we quit allowing these things to become weapons of mass distraction when it comes to our unity in the faith. I hope you'll take that to heart. God bless you. Have a great day.